everyone. Right, I said I'd come back and show you this liquid wax. Um, and what I've done is I've got a big jug of water, boiling water. I've popped the wax bottles into that, which are now dissolving. Uh, what I've done so far, just to show you a quick technique, and I'm going to show you another one, is if you want the drip effect, all you do, if you're doing it in a journal or something like that, of course you need a, a darker background. And um, all you do is you pour the liquid wax across the top and go back and forth like that till it drips down and it gives you the effect that you, you you know the desired look that you're looking for and as you can see that's done it really well drip down and all I did was just chop off the end bits that uh, I didn't want but I mean obviously I'd do my project first and then I'd leave that to drop over but you could go you know you could do all sorts with it the other technique that you can do is to use perfect pearls which I put ready on my stamp I've got blue and purple on there and as you can see, I've used just the blue one, so you can actually see them. You can see the butterflies, the flowers, the, and I've just used a little bit in the middle, um, and then stamped on top of it when I've poured it on. Uh, and it brings, I mean, it's really 3D effect. It does a really good job. So I hope you can see that. So what I'm going to do now, now my wax is ready, is I'm just going to show you that technique. And I've painted my board. Um, I've used acrylic paint on that one. And you, and it, it, you need a surface to work on, on uh, work surface to work on properly, and that when you've got to be really, really quick. So pour it on. Whoops! See how it's gone like that. It doesn't matter if it goes over because it scrapes off. And then do that and pour it on. Uh, and then you have to really press hard with your stamp and leave it to set. and that will set shortly if you put enough on you can go all the way you know uh, over the page to make sure that's uh, set properly so you're not setting but it's not setting quick enough and you just have to hold on to it so while that's in there I'm just going to pop it because it sets really quickly generally so I'm just going to pop that back in my hot water and see what we've got here. I've not let it set enough, but oops, got it stuck. <laughs> I've not let it set enough. I will do when I get it off the page, off my book. It's only because it's stuck to the wax. Um, and then all you do is you take your Exacto knife or any knife, whatever you, whatever you've got. And you can start to take away the bits you don't want. And it just peels away. But make sure you leave behind the bits you do want. And it's just peeled away like that. And then if you've got a little bit like that, that, that pulled up as I pulled the stamp off, which uh, doesn't matter. If I left it a little bit longer, it would have worked perfectly. So, um what I'm going to do now is just press that back down and I'm just going to clear, well I'm not going to clear anything away but there you go, you can actually see the stamp that I've made with the two-tone colour of um, the Perfect Pearls so I'm just going to try that one again and clear this bit of mess up um, and there's my uh, palette knife just to keep it clean not that I will, because look at my desk. But you know what I mean. It just scrapes off like that. You can pop that back into your bottle. You don't have to waste it. Just break it up and pop it back into the bottle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that uh, using the uh, um, ink. And this is the black soot. Okay. So you just coat where you want your... Uh, pattern. You do use black, a dark colour, to show up your stamp. It is quite messy this, but really good effects. Pop that back. Pop that onto there. And again, what I'm going to do is to pour the wax on before I do the 
stamp. And before I do that, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the lighter blue for you to see it. And you should dab in that in and pop in that all over your stamp. And it actually melts into the wax when it's on. But it's just to give you an idea of what to do. I mean, you all have your own techniques and you can perfect it yourself. Like I say, you do have to be quick with this. So I'm just going to get my stamp ready. I'm going to pour my wax on. Make sure I cover the area I want. doesn't matter about it dripping off. See, that's, that's run off. You can just get that back and put it back into your box. Okay. I'm just going to leave that on. Put that back in. Oops. And I must leave that long enough. I've got it all over now. Ha <laughs> ha! Must leave that long enough for it to set. Which means if I can, I'm going to take it away from that. And really press hard. Sorry about the wait, but uh, you'll see what I mean. Right, I've just got time to finish this one. And there you go. You know, you've got your uh, pattern. You've got your butterflies and your pattern. I mean, really, if you're doing it with a big stamp, you need a big area. But I'm just showing you how to do it. Just blow that off. Use your brush to brush it. And then all you do is trim out your edges. And that just comes straight off. You know, if I wanted to do this bit here, just do that and take that straight off. Do it like that and it will just come off.